Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy Kay Facebook Live. And today I'm going to show you a card that I made with the fun Seize the Day Stamp Set Bundle from Stampin' Up. This is one that is in the January to June mini catalog, which is not so new anymore, but um, it's uh, still fairly new. Um, we just started it in January. So it's, again, just a fun little stamp set bundle that... Um, Stampin' Up! has in that catalog, and it's I actually used uh, some of the Celebration Designer Series paper with it, so um, like I said, hopefully you like the card. It's a cute little stamp set. It's got some fun sentiments in it, um, so let's talk a little bit about that first. So we've got the Seize the Day stamp set. Um, this is, again, it's got some good kind of nautical or beachy type images in it and some fun sentiments as well, and then there is a coordinating die set that goes with it. Um, this large die actually cuts out the center of this so that's what i used to cut the background out and then we've got the fun images for the little um, jellyfish and the octopus and the crab and the fish and the starfish um, and then there's some little accessory kind of seaweed looking pieces hey genie thanks for hopping in today so so again it's a great stamp set bundle and just a lot of fun to use and um, i guess we're going to be playing with it a little bit today all right, so stamp set and dies. Let me set that away aside. On the background, you may or may not have noticed this, but I actually um, stamped the background of the card, the kind of underneath piece here, with the Gentle Waves stamp set. So this is a background stamp. And again, it's from the mini catalog. And actually when I stamped it, I turned it sideways and I used the Stamparatus and I'll show you in a minute how I did that as well. Um, so it's a fun little stamp um, too. So it's like I said, it's you know definitely a good one. So hey Marilyn, thanks for joining today. All right, uh, one other thing that I did use also is I used the picture this dies, and I used these two are the same size, um, but I used one of the kind of medium sized circles in here to cut out my sentiment. And uh, again, I'll show you quickly how I did that once we get to that point. A um, couple things, well, kind of more than a couple. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on all of a sudden with Stamp It Up. So, hey, Karen and Elise, thanks for joining. Um, this one is specific to me. So, I have got a uh, Stuck on You Valentine's Day ordering bonus. So, through February 14th, from now through February 14th, if you place an order of $50 or greater through me, you're going to get to pick a free adhesive, whatever one it is that you choose. And that's in addition to your normal $10 thank you gift and in addition to your uh, normal reward points that you get from me with a $50 order and in addition to that stamp it up is also going to be giving you free items for celebration so it's a, a great deal <laughs> so let me know if you'd like to place an order I'd love to have you do that um, and again this my ordering special runs through January 4th or January February 14th goodness through Valentine's Day I'm a whole month late <laughs> so um, also something else fun that we just found out about Stampin' Up! has a new kit that will be coming out tomorrow. It will be available. It's called the Celebrate Today Magnet Board Kit, and you'll be able to find that in the online store under the Kits Collection tab. And it's a cool, um, the final piece measures about 12 inches by 12 inches, so it's a pretty good sized uh, board, and it's got some cute little pockets and clips and things so that you can help to keep yourself organized. Um, but again, it's a fun little kit. It's $25. Um, the order number is 159335. So again, this will be available tomorrow um, or today, depending on what day you're watching this, uh, February 9th, which is Wednesday. So, all right. Um, two more things, and then I still, I swear we'll get to the Stampin'. Hey, Barbara, thanks for joining. Uh, Stampin' Up! has got the All Together uh, product collection going on now as well. So this is a cool collection of some new blends. A stamp set, dies, and designer series paper that, again, you can get with one item number um, all together in one kind of large bundle. Um, or you can break it down and get just the stamp set bundle with the dies or just the stamp set or just the dies or just the designer paper or just the blends. Um, so the blends are actually going to be carrying forward into the next annual catalog. So those will be around for a little bit. The stamp set dies and designer series paper are only available while supplies last through May 2nd. So if you want these items and you will, um, make sure you get them ordered soon. And then the final thing, this is also something coming up in, on March 1st. Stampin' Up! has got a Waves of the Ocean 
product collection that will be available, and it is beautiful. Um, again, it's a stamp set dies, designer paper, foil paper, and some fantastic gems, and we're going to be playing with the gems today on the card. So, hey, Debbie, thanks for joining. Um, so, again, you can order this with one um, item number, or you can order it individually. So, again, we've got the stamp set bundle, uh, stamp set dies, designer papers, foil, and uh, beautiful gems. And um, the designer paper, the foil, and the gems are only available while supplies last, so make sure, sure, sure that you get those ordered very soon because they're very pretty and I think they might not stick around very long. Um, the stamp set and dies and the bundle pricing will be available in the next annual catalog. So the blends and the dies and stamp set are going to be available. The stamp set and dies and the blends from the other um, little promotion that I just showed you will be available in the next annual catalog. All right, enough talking about that. Let's get going on this card. Okay, um, I did my my card, that, my sample card, I actually did my standard top fold card on it, um, but did want to show you that this also works with a side fold card. So my um, card originally was cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half across the top. This is your standard book fold card, which is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And I have a piece of the Simply Marvelous, and I almost, yeah, there we go. And um, I was thinking I was going to use the wrong side of it, but no, that's definitely not the right side. <laughs> so um, this is actually one of the celebration items that you can get for free with an order of $50 or greater from Stampin' Up! Um, if you place your order through the end of February. So celebration ends on February 28th. All right, so to start out with, I'm going to grab that big die from the, these are called C dies, and the stamp set is C's, like S-E-A-S, <laughs> funny, dies, or <laughs> C's the day stamp set, and these are the C dies that coordinate with it, and I'm just going to take this, this piece is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, and again, all the measurements will be on my blog tomorrow, and sometimes I say the wrong thing, go with what's on my blog, that's usually more correct than I am, so, hey Karen, glad you're joining today. Um, so, I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to run it through the die cutting machine and it's super easy to cut. So just going to show you uh, again, just putting this on. Uh, it's a full size card front piece of designer series paper. Again, this is a simply marvelous paper. Um, and this is the one that I think is considered Coastal Cabana color because it's similar to me to the Coastal Cabana card base that I'm using here. So, all right. So let me run this through my die cutting machine. So when we're done with that, we end up with, you get to see my chewed up uh, cutting mat here. So take this and almost all the pieces fall right out of it. A couple of little bubbles I had to poke up, but otherwise this is what you end up with as the negative piece. Hey, Denise, thanks for joining. And I'm going to put this aside and try to pick off a couple of the, because we're going to do some more cutting here. So I've got to get some of the little scraps cleaned off of here. So because my cutting mats are all chewed up. It takes a minute to scrape all the little bubbles off. <laughs> all right, I think we're good. And now they're like all over the floor, so I'm sure the dog will have them stuck everywhere on her. Okay, uh, so next thing that I did was I took my Stamparatus and a kind of an oversized piece of basic white cardstock. This one is about, I don't know, five and what I measured, five and three quarters-ish by about four, Eh, four and three eighths ish. So it's definitely an oversized piece of basic white cardstock. And I'm going to try not to hit my uh, camera as I flip that open. And I'm going to put that in here. And in order to sort of get an estimate of where I wanted it um, on to be stamped at on my basic white cardstock, I put this in here and just closed it over it. So I kind of had a feel for where I wanted it. Now, obviously it doesn't have any ink on it at this point, but that was sort of how I lined up and decided where to put the stamp on the, the little, um, cut, or the little um, Stamparatus plate. There we go. Sorry, words are hard today. <laughs> so, um, so that was kind of how I decided the layout and where I wanted this to be um, because I knew that up at the very top, I knew that it wasn't gonna cover the entire area on here, but I wanted as much of it to be covered as possible. Um, so the top of it, I figured could have a little bit peeking out and it wasn't gonna be a big deal. All right, so again, uh, basic white cardstock and I've got pool party ink and I'm gonna try to ink up this up without tapping too, too hard on here and having you all get seasick because my camera is <laughs> banging all over the place. Hopefully I'm not doing that. It's a little difficult uh, 
anytime I ink things up when I'm on video, I'm always afraid you guys are going to end up um, with the camera shaking all over the place and you all be seasick and wondering what in the world I'm doing. <laughs> so, all right. So again, pool party ink and I'm going to go ahead and close it and see what we get for an image. If I'm not happy with it, I can always re-stamp it with the Stamparatus. That's one nice thing about it. So I'm closing that up and I'm gonna give it a firm press here and then we're gonna open it up and see what we get. Um, so there are a couple of pieces that didn't ink quite as well as I want them to. So I can see here and here are some, some areas that maybe, I don't know whether the ink just didn't transfer as well as it could have or if I didn't get it inked as well as I could have. Um, either way, all good. That's the bonus of the Stamparatus, is that I can just come back, ink it up again, make sure that I've got this slid all the way up into the corner, and then hopefully give it a good hard press this time and get a good solid image. Yep, that one looks much better. Um, over on the edges, it is a little bit um, not as awesome as it could be, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to have most of it's covered. The only thing that's really going to show is the center part. So um, if I were going to use this as my entire card front, I probably would restamp it and make sure that my edges were all nice. But I don't necessarily care on this one because it's going to be covered anyway. All right. So then the next thing that I did was I trimmed it down. Um, just took my, my um, uh, paper trimmer here and trimmed it down. I'm not gonna cut it way, way down. I wanna make sure that I'm at, you know, the card front size is about five and a half. So I wanna make sure that I've got, um, I don't wanna, I, I'm gonna try to cut it down to about five and three eighths by about four and an eighth. That's where I want the, the final size to end up with. So I've got four here and my eighth of an inch. I wanna make sure that I'm measuring at the right one. So there we go. And I'm gonna trim off this edge. And then I'm going to take this again and just put it over the top and see where we are placement wise. And I'm good to trim off the, the top a little bit if I want to, which I'll probably just trim it down just a tiny little bit. It doesn't need to go way, way down, but just a little bit off the top gives me a little bit of wiggle room when I'm adhering things together. Um, so what I find when I'm using um, the Stamparatus and a background stamp in particular, that I usually will try to start with an oversized piece of cardstock because it's easy enough to trim it down when I'm done. If you stamp it in the wrong space or your paper's a little bit short, it's awfully hard to add to it. <laughs> so I usually try to start with something that's a little oversized and trim it down. I find that much easier than um, having it be too short and then not getting the look that you want and then you start all over with a brand new piece of paper. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the multi-purpose liquid glue to the back here and gonna try to Stay away again from the center of it and just try to go along the edges here. I'm not going to go way, way out to the edge because, again, my basic white cardstock is cut a little bit narrower than my designer paper is, and I don't want to end up with glue oozing out everywhere. So I'm just going to take the liquid glue, go around the edge, and then I'm going to flip it over here and try to carefully take a hold of it and not stick my fingers in the glue, and then place it over the top and just make sure that I am, oh, you know what? I totally forgot there was one piece that I need to stamp in here, eek. <laughs> okay, phew, I'm glad that I thought of that before I stuck everything down for good. Okay, so scratch the, uh, the um, going ahead first and uh, putting the glue all over. We'll have to re-glue it in a second, and hopefully I don't have glue in too many places that I'm gonna get it stuck on everything. I've got the little seaweed image from the, um, uh, seize the day stamp set that I'm going to ink here in um, just jade ink. I'm going to stamp it up here along the side. So I inked it, stamped it on the scrap paper, and then I'm going to stamp it over the the um, card front image. And then I'm going to do that a second time. And this one I'm going to go down just a little bit lower on. And hopefully y'all were uh, not screaming at me to stop, don't stick that down. <laughs> You may not have even noticed that it was there to begin with, but I think it does add a little bit of something uh, to the background when you put on the, the um, little seaweed images as well. All right, so let's start back over again as I talk about the gluing and uh, multi-purpose liquid glue is what we're using here. And I'm re-gluing re everything because uh, it dried while I was busy talking and um, stamping. All right, so let's try this a second time and stick it down this time for good, hopefully. <laughs> so again, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got everything covered on top to bottom, side to side. Hopefully, 
I will get it. Oh, there we go. I'm going to scooch that up just a little bit. Okay. And that's going to be it. So got that glued together. Give it a little press here and make sure, I think I'm going to flip it over and uh, kind of press down on the back side of it because I want to make sure I don't end up with this glued accidentally to my paper that I'm working on and not to itself. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick it on the card front. So again, we're just going to use a little bit of the multi-purpose liquid glue and this time I'm going to go kind of all over the back of it. And we're going to stick that down to a Coastal Cabana card base. And try to line everything up as best I can before I put it down. And then again, I'm going to flip it over and just make sure that everything is in the right place, which it looks like it is, before I press it down and have it stuck forever and ever. All right, there we go. And I didn't even really get my fingers too gluey. There's a little little sticky spot on one finger, but I think we're good to go. Because <laughs> then once I do that, usually if I pick something up like that, then I end up with glue stuck on everything. But I think we're good this time. Okay, back to some stamping again. We're going to stamp some of the little sea critter images. So I have got the little octopus image and Daffodil Delight ink. And that's what we're going to stamp with first. Hey, Jean, thanks so much. So I've got that. We're going to ink up the octopus. Do a quick flip over. Make sure that it's um, in a, you know inked up pretty well. And again, it doesn't matter where I am going to be stamping this on the paper because I'm going to be um, die cutting everything so they can be stamped on here as crazily as I want them to be. Um, I've got the little fish images, and one is on either side of the block, and I've got balmy blue ink. And again, because I don't necessarily care so much about um, exactly where this ends up on the paper, um, I, whoop, I think we need to re-ink that one. I think I need to re-ink my ink pad is the issue. All right, let's try that one again. That, that's a better image, and then I got a big old smudgy, but again, it'll all be good because I'm going to be die cutting that one. So we are good to go, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Got the other little fish. And again, that was balmy blue ink for that one. And then my final uh, little sea critter image is the starfish, and we're going to use flirty flamingo ink for that. Um, so some crazy kind of colors together, but I thought they looked cute with the uh, designer paper. So that was kind of what I was going for is I wanted it to be nice and matchy-matchy with the designer paper, and I liked the way the colors went together. So, all right, so let me grab the dies. So again, these are this is the... Um, C dies that coordinate with the Seize the Day stamp set. So here are the little, two little fish dies. We've got the starfish die and then the octopus die. So I'm going to be off here to my left doing a little bit of die cutting. Hey, Roz, thanks so much. I appreciate that. So hopefully you are enjoying your Tuesday. It's, a, uh, don't know, an okay day here. It's not freezing, freezing cold. It's not snowing, so yay for that. Right, and I'll see how many of these I can get run through on one pass. Hopefully, I can get most of them done. Get at least one of the little fish cut out here. All right, almost there. Okay, I think I've got them all here. Okay, we'll see what we got when it comes out. Hopefully I got it cut reasonably straight. Oh, let me get my magnetic sheet for my dies, otherwise I will lose track of all of those before we get done here, and then I'll have some in the trash, and then I will be sad. <laughs> so, all right. So let's get that, and oh, there's the little fish. All right, my starfish ended up a little bit crazy cut, but I think we're gonna go with that. It's not terrible. We'll tuck it underneath somewhere, so. <laughs> All right, um, so I've got the little octopus here, and I'm gonna take a couple of glue dots, and I'm gonna stick those on the back of him or her. I'm not sure if it's a him or her. I don't know how, to, how you tell the difference. So I'm gonna put one sort of up here on the head and one on the body um, to kind of hold it in place. And then I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna tuck it underneath this tall piece of seaweed that is here. And I kind of wrapped his little tentacles around the seaweed, sort of. There we go. That's going in there. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I thought it was going to go in there nicely. There we go. So I wanted him kind of wrapped up in the seaweed or to have the look of being wrapped up in the seaweed. There we go. That's fitting in there better. I just didn't have him tucked down in there far enough. 
All right. And then because I was bending this around and I had the same thing happen on my card on my sample, I just took another little glue dot, peeled it off the backing, um, flipped that up, stuck it to the back of the seaweed, and then stuck the glue dot to my little octopus to hold that in place so it's not sticking up too, too far. Um, then I've got my little fish here and I've got one um, pointing each direction. So I'm gonna take the fish pointing off to the right here first and do a little glue dot on him and I'm gonna tuck him in here um, or her again, <laughs> sort of underneath and around the seaweed. And then I will take the other little um, fish and tuck that one up here underneath the seaweed. And then I've got my little starfish and I'm gonna tuck that one off to the side. Again, just using glue dots to adhere everything down. Um, I like glue dots for this type of thing because it's a little less messy for me. Um, I tend to be a bit of a, a messy gluer as you can see from my earlier gluing experience. <laughs> so um, I tend to try to use glue dots when I can for this type of thing, so, all right. Next up, I used some of the Pool Party sheer, uh, it's 3 8 inch sheer ribbon. And I'm just gonna put a little bit up here on um, the top of my card up here on the, whoop, gotta get the um, stamp and seal going, maybe. There we go, now it's getting sticky, okay. So I just put a little line down here on my um, card front. And then I'm gonna take the ribbon and start over to the left. And I'm gonna make kind of a wide Z here. And we'll stick it, I'm just sticking the um, ribbon to the stamp and seal as I go. And it's only sticking it down here on the center. And then I will trim off the excess here. Ooh, there we go, maybe, there we go, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside then while I stamp the sentiment. Just gonna pull in my same piece of cardstock here, basic white, and I've got Flirty Flamingo ink for the sentiment. And get that inked pretty well here. Stamp that on the basic white cardstock. All right, got a good image that time. And then I'm gonna grab the picture this dies, and I almost knocked my cutting plates on the floor, and that would have been a huge clattery cling. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take this die, and I'm gonna run it through the die cutting machine just like this, so that, again, I can use this scrap for something else. So um, if I put it like this and I'm chopping everything up, um, you can use these dies to cut out just what you want them to, so, all right? So I'm gonna take that and run it through my die cutting machine here. I have got bits of paper everywhere, <laughs> so. I'm sure the dog will have them on her nose before we leave. All right, so there is my sentiment. And again, that's the from the picture this dies. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab a couple of uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. And these are my little half stamp of dimensionals that I use. And I know that this is gonna be a little wider than the ribbon that I've got put on here. So what I'm gonna do is take my stamp of dimensionals and stick it so that I make sure that I'm catching a little bit of the cardstock. Um, and if I catch a little bit of ri the ribbon, that's fine, but I just wanna make sure that it's placed so that it's actually stuck a little bit to the card front and not just to the ribbon um, so that it stays put because if it sticks just to the ribbon, sometimes the ribbons can sort of lift up and you um, end up with your sentiment kind of flapping in the breeze and you, <laughs> I don't think you want that. So, all right, so we're almost done with the card front. The last little thing that I'm gonna um, use on the card front are some of the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels and these are gonna be available beginning on March 1st. This is part of that Waves of the Ocean suite and they are absolutely beautiful. Um, so these are the Coastal Cabana ones that I'm using and it's a big pack of gems as well, which I love. And um, you know, they're sparkly and pretty and uh, yeah, I just like them a lot. <laughs> and I love the colors in these. Uh, the blues and the greens are definitely my favorites. Although I do love, I do love some some pink, as you can tell, <laughs> tell by my shirt. Um, yeah, pink is one of those other colors that um, I do tend to use an awful lot, particularly Flirty Flamingo is one of my favorite pinks. So, all right, so we're gonna stick those down and we're basically done with the card front. On the inside of the card, I am going to hopefully not make a mess here, um, but I've got Daffodil Delight ink again in the little octopus image from the Seize the Day stamp set. And we're just gonna ink that up and we're gonna stamp the octopus over here along the edge on the bottom. 
of the basic white panel. All right, so he's kind of peeking in from the side. And then I have got the little seaweed image here, and I'm gonna take that and the Just Jade ink again. Gonna ink it up and stamp it on the scrap paper, paper once, and then gonna come in here, and I'm gonna sort of stamp it over the top of the octopus there. And then come back in, same thing, ink it up, stamp it on scrap paper, and then stamp it a second time sort of down here underneath. All right, let me get that one out of the way and um, hopefully not stick my fingers in the ink pad. And then the final little thing is I've got a, the two little fish um, that I was gonna stamp up on the upper left. And again, whoops, it's not pool party, it's boom, balmy blue that I want, so. Oh, you're at the doctor waiting and you're tuning in. Well, I appreciate that, Diane, glad you're here, so. All right, I've got the two little, um, two little, I think these are actually, I don't know, angelfish, is that the name of them? So I'm gonna stamp one of them up here at the top. And then I'm gonna stamp the other one peeking in from the other side over here, just like that. All right, and that's it for the inside of the card. So super simple. All right, and again, all the details for this are gonna be posted on my blog tomorrow, and I will share a link in the description of this video once the blog post goes live, so you'll see it out here on Facebook. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, the link will be in the video description already before it goes live out there. So using a little stamp and seal to adhere that to the inside of the card base. And then I'm gonna grab my bone folder and do a quick crease along the edge here. All right. And there we go, that is it. So it's a fun card, a fun stamp set. Um, love the Simply Marvelous paper with it. I think that adds the perfect touch to it. Um, if you prefer the kind of, the one that looks a little bit more, I don't know, bold, more bold, maybe on the flip side of it, if you prefer that one to be your, the upside of your card, you can definitely do that too. So, um, oh, thanks so much, Roz. I'm glad you like it. And it is a really cute bundle. Definitely a cute, cute bundle. Um, fun for adults, fun for kids. So definitely a good one. Um, I think I'm gonna probably stamp a birthday sentiment maybe on the inside of these. I haven't decided yet, so I didn't want to put something on, on the inside and be committed to only birthday. So, all right, so thanks again for joining today. I will plan to be live on my YouTube channel around two o'clock Eastern time on Friday, and then back here live next week, Tuesday. I'm probably gonna have to go live a little earlier. The kids have dentist appointments at two o'clock, and so I will let you know what time. It'll probably be like 11-ish Eastern time next week, Tuesday. But I'll definitely post about it and let you know when I'll be here. So thanks so much for joining. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and we will chat again soon.